Okay, so I'm Norwegian, so just bear with me. My my language isn't English, but I'll try my best. So if the first thing you do is go to Substratum, of course, and then you should always choose a base theme, or you can of course just use Floater uh, for itself. But it looks better if you maybe try some different uh, themes, so you get different kind of. Uh, icons and the theme just fits everywhere instead of just the system itself. So the themes I use is FAB or FAB or whatever you call it and then live dark and live white. That's what I mainly use. You can of course use different themes but that's what I use. And when I build FAB I always do like this. I choose my system and of course I'm running Evolution X 4.0, uh, so that's Android 10, so that's Q. I pick everything, I choose my accent color, uh, blue as an example, my background color, night, because that's black, and maybe I want some tweaks. Mm, minimal UI with default power menu icons. But as you can see, that's only for Android 10, so if you're not on Android 10, that won't work. So then we go back down here and we do the same setting. You don't have to, but this is what I'm doing. And then we do the same settings for the Google Play services. And I know this one doesn't work, the personal safety ones, I always disable it because I know it doesn't work. And for the settings, we can do the same thing, minimal UI with default icons. And in the system UI. I always take the global rounded corners to off, and then I choose the tweaks, the minimal power uh, power menu icons. Sorry. And then in system UI uh, headers, you can use ROMs with custom headers. That's what I use, and that's what works, but might not for you. So, well, you know the idea. Uh, and Telegram, you just choose one night because. I chose black so I just go for night and then blue because I chose blue and then we just click the button on on the corner and then just click build and install and when you're finished with building and installing fab you reboot your device and when you're back you go into the overlays in manager and then you just click this button and the corner button again and enable selected but I don't need to do that now, so that's what you're gonna do when you first start. Okay, so now we're done with Fab, and now we're gonna go to Flodor Expert, of course. There we go. So in Flodor, you actually have to go one layer by one layer. So we start with Android system. What I like to do is choose my accent color, and since I chose blue with Fab, I actually like. OOS blue, so oxygen OS blue. It should be here. And then you don't have to choose one, but if you want a bigger header, you can choose double size, quadruple, or triple, whatever. But I don't go beyond double if I have to choose something. And then you choose your roundness. You could either go low, mad, normal, or oval. Uh, mad is totally round and normal is like I have it and then oval is a little bit round but you can just test out which one you like and just find whatever is the perfect for you so I take normal and then I choose a gradient color and a gradient color you can choose whatever you want but if you don't want any gradient color you choose the gradient called gradient void accent color that means you will only get the blue accent color chosen in Android system nothing else but since I'm going to do the gradient style uh, with OOS blue the best one is light blue blue so when you're done with that you just build it and then you go back because you have to reset reset the Android system this is how I do it. You can of course go in and just pick the default one again, but I think this is quicker. So now 
we have actually chosen just one thing, but we have to choose more. So for the background color, you could e either choose system color background, or you could choose black as fuck. But that's up to you. Uh, sometimes you have to choose black as fuck, and sometimes you can just go with system color be, uh, background. That's what I'm using at the moment. So then I choose that one, and I build that one as well. And then we start again. Uh, now we're actually going to choose a setting you see underneath my QS panel, the line. Here you can choose custom accent border, or bottom accent, or bottom gradient. The bottom gradient one is the one I have. And if you choose bottom gradient border, it's the same, but just thinner. So choose whatever you like of these ones, all the way down to power menu. So you have a lot of choices you can do. I'll just take bottom gradient, and then build. So then we're done with the QS style, the, the bottom uh, style or layout or whatever you can call it. So on to the next one. Um, I want the progress bar to look like this, the thick one. So then I chose the progress bar descendant style. But if you want an outline, you just choose the style accent outline. But it's totally up to you. So then I choose that one and I build that. And I also want the thumb of the progress bar to be hidden. So then I choose custom thumb void. And then I build that one as well. So now we're kind of done the background color, we chose the accent color, the gradient color. So there's not much to do left, but there's of course more. <laughs> there's always more. So now we're on to the volume. So here's the volume. You could either go for round mad or gradient or outland accent, whatever you want to. But this is the place you choose the kind of roundness of your volume. You can see this is my volume. And this is my power menu. So I'm going with round, mad, outline, gradient. Because I want the gradient border around it. And then we build. Okay, and then we go back to the next one. Okay. If you want to take your status bar more down, you can choose one of these. The pixels ones. But I don't recommend anything else than 96. But of course you can try whatever you want. But I'm not going to do that now. And then if you want some cool settings icons, you can choose Digital Wellbeing, Google Play Services, and then you choose the ones you like. Then Material Tone is a new one, so let's try that one. Then we go down to Settings Icons as well, and then we choose the same one, Material Tone. And there should be one more for me. Here we go, one plus Settings, then Material Tone. Now I've selected every single settings icon, so then I just build it, and done. Okay, so that, let's just uncheck these. Okay, so then we're done with the settings there. And the next thing to do is the system UI. Okay, so here we go with custom notification. This one is important, because then you won't get the notification themed. If it doesn't work, you just choose the custom notification uh, force close instead. Okay, so then we build this one. Okay, and on to the next one. I'm on Android 10, so I'm going to go with custom volume power menu for Q. And then we build that one as well. And then I want, as you can see in my power menu, I want the background to be transparent and not just a black background. So then we just choose this one called for Q custom power menu background transparent. And then we build that one as well. So now we're done with the power menu and the volume. Uh, so then on to the next thing, we need these. Okay, so this part is the QS panel background style. So if you want the style that you can see here, 
the one I have with the button gradient. You choose QS, uh, QS panel background outline bottom gradient. That's the one. So then we have chosen that one and then we build it. Or you can do one of the other ones. But these are the ones that you will look at for the QS panel background. So now we're done with the system UI and then we go for the system headers. As you can see, I don't use anything. I, d I don't want anything there. So I'm going to just show you what I do to do that. I click on none on star, none on sun, and then I just choose a, a logo. And for since I'm on Evolution X, I just choose MX Acton Star, and I build that one as well. You can choose whatever you want here. You can choose, uh, oh sorry, I, none. This is correct. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, uh, but you can choose whatever you want. You can choose on the star one. The star is the header logo. So if you click uh, medium, that means you see where the the written text floater is. That's gonna be the star, and then sun is gonna be the one in the middle of your QS panel. But as I told you, I don't want anything, so this is the correct one for me. So then we'll go on to the next thing. So now we're going to theme the, the QS panel titles. You can see these ones, I have a effect and they're black instead of white. So then we go to QS UI system tile icons. And then we have brightness bar, the sentence style. That's what we need because that's the, the bar you can see here, the brightness bar. We need that there as well because last time we took this one. We made that one correct. So build and install this one as well. And now we also want the uh, the thumb to be hidden. So I use brightness thumb void. But if that doesn't work, if it doesn't hide your thumb, just go to the other one, void for OOS. That's normally what I use in live dark and live white to make it work. So then we build this one, and now we're done with the progress bars and brightness bars and everything. So now we go back to the QS tiles, and there we go. Uh, AOS, AOSP allow custom QS shape for Q. That one I need. Build and install. And then we go to the tiles are black active or you can choose accent active or white active that's up to you but I'm gonna go with black and we build and install that as well okay and on to the next one um, then we go to the shape itself uh, I'm gonna go with a cookie you can see right here so this is the cookie one Okay, so QS style shape, um, cookie for all, so that's the one. And then you just build and install. Okay, so let's see if there's more. No, there's not more. So that's what that's what I do when I build my stuff. But if, say you want a gradient color on the top instead of the red one I have, because the red I have is not in floater, so I... I'm sorry about that, but if you want, say, a gradient or an accent color or transparent, you can go back to System UI, and then you go to the logos, and all the way back to the bottom, and there you have the QS style. So here you go, gradient accent, or half gradient accent, or transparent, black, or accent. It's totally up to you, but the one I normally use is half gradient or gradient accent. Okay, so now we're done with everything, you reboot your device again, and when you're back in, you go back to the uh, Substratum app, and then you go back to Manager, and then you just enable everything from uh, Floodor. So the, these ones, you see these ones? So then you just click on every single thing that isn't actuated, but everything is actuated for me though, but yeah, you get the idea. And then you just click Enable. And that should be it. I hope this was helpful. I'm sorry if my English is bad. I'm Norwegian and yeah.
and sorry about the, the, the bad voice or whatever. Peace out.